a personal myth is flexible, protean. I want to say something about proteus in just a moment. And elastic. So long as it remains organic and vital. Let me read it again. A personal myth is flexible, protean, elastic, and I would tuck another word in there now that I'm reading it, organic. So long as it re oh, so long as it remains organic and vital. I might have uh, thought about moving that up. Now, when, when a myth uh, becomes a cadaver, and myths do cadaverize, if you let me get away with that very awkward uh, verb, when a myth uh, freezes, uh, becomes cadaverous, you have ideology. I believe that all ideologies are once living myths that have suffered sclerosis, that have suffered arthritis. And uh, if you know people with arthritis, if you have arthritis yourself, I've had two hips replaced over a 20 year period. One of the things that arthritis does, it starts canceling out movement. You can't move, you can't rotate, you, you, you lose flex, you lose fit. So I'm suggesting to you that a, that a cadaverous, when a, when a myth stiffens, there, there, when a myth stiffens into a cadaver, ideology rises up. Now, ideologies are literalisms with a vengeance. And I say that because oftentimes an ideology says, not only am I right and you're wrong, but I'm going to assassinate you and get you off the planet. And pick up any day's newspaper and you'll see examples of that happening globally. It's like, it's like ideologies cannot tolerate another point of view. They're frozen, and maybe maybe assassinating any contrary voices is a way for that ideologue to be comfortable. Because for people holding ideologies, any other point of view makes them very uncomfortable. And if they have the power, then they can eliminate that voice, uh, that presence. So. That's, that's an important insight for me that I wanted to share with you. That ideologies were once organic mythology, but they lost their gut, they lost their <coughs> flexibility, they lost their elasticity. And so, see, ideologies can't grow. <laughs> They're frozen. Now, I live in an area in Texas, up above San Antonio and south of where there are pockets of a fundamentalist. See, all, all forms of fundamentalisms are myths that have grown cadaverous. They're, they're hardened in place. And you don't have conversations. See, they're white. conversation is wiped out because a real conversation has got to have give and take. Yeah, I see your point, but I still want to argue. Okay, that's fine. But <laughs> I love when the politicians make some crazy outlandish uh, statement, and then at the end the they end the outlandish that statement with period. <laughs> no talking. Don't question me. I love that. But this whole bathroom bill that the Austin legislature's got themselves caught in, and this is why we can't have anything like that. Period. Oh well, nothing to say. Let let it go. Yeah. So that's the that's the. That's the, <laughs> the punchline of the ideology, period. 